Hi all, um, I haven't done a click view video for a number of weeks now, but um, basically I'm going to do an attempt to show a, a Gapminder chart example within click view. For those of you who don't know, Gapminder was co-founded by a guy called Hans Rosling. Um, you can check out some of his uh, videos on www.gapminder.org. His videos are very interesting, he's very uh, funny, he's the guy is amazing so check it out for now I'm basically going to show you the example that I've already created within ClickView which is similar to the one he's created for Gapminder so if I click play here I'm basically animated a chart of information I've got the average order size number of orders and then each circle represents a customer and the bigger the circle is the more cases it were sold to that customer within that year so if I play it again and keep an eye on the bottom left each new dot that's coming onto the chart is a new customer and then if you see near the end you're getting a shoot through then in 2010 of customers that are not too dissimilar to the ones down here uh, bigger cases per annum but then the, the average order size is about 100 but again they're getting a lot more orders throughout the year so it's quite interesting now over here I've, I've scrambled out some I've got brand and places and customers and these are all scrambled, they're all kind of, it's real data but they're letting on numbers here on the right. So again I could choose a particular brand and play the, uh, the click view version of it like, similar to the Gapminder and it tells its own story. If you start it again it's kind of more out towards 250 is the number of orders and towards 8, 9, 10 it's it's coming back to they're getting these customers are getting a hundred less orders per annum. So the orders are less but the orders are bigger, which is good for business. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how I created the chart. So I'm just gonna uh, minimize it. Again, it's based on it's based on a version of Hand Rosling's uh, chart, so it's but it's 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 not his data. So I'm just going to choose a, a scatter chart. The dimensions is year and customers. And I'm just going to go finish for now. So right now the chart doesn't look at and like the the chart I've just shown you. So I'm going to minimize that. Uh, this one I'm just going to drag over here. So if we go into the properties. Down here in the expressions, normally you would see a different uh, expressions page. So I'm just going to click advanced mode. So this is what we'd normally see. I'm just going to delete these two. And I'm going to add new expressions. It's going to be sum of orders. One more expression called sum of average order size. Click OK. And the final one is going to be sum of cases sold. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom left hand corner to the advanced mode. You can see it's ticked for a bubble chart and for the sum of cases sold. So we want each bubble for the, each customer to be based on the, the cases sold within that year. So if I click apply, you can see now the chart is still looking a bit you know all over the place it's not looking the way you want it to look so i'm going to drag it over drag it down a little bit so we we leave it there for now so the next step is we're going to go into properties again we're going to go into dimensions we need to animate the chart so we're going to go into animate we're going to animate the first dimension which is the year which is what we want we're going to show the anim animation dimension value um, within the chart, the, we're going to make this 1750, so it's 750 milliseconds. Every 1750 milliseconds, we're going to show a frame, 30 frames per second. Um, it's going to go into font. We're going to keep it the way it is, but we're going to make it huge so it's, that's right in the background of our chart. And click OK here and apply. So, again, now you can see we've got the 2004 right in the background of the chart next step is axes 
I'm going to clear the four zeros and we're going to add show grid. Again, we're going to click apply so you can see now it's starting to look a little bit more like the chart. We're going to go into colors, the background, we're going to choose um, black, two color gradient, transparency, uh, around 75%. Click OK, apply. Again, the chart's not looking the way we want it to look, so we're going to go back into presentation. The legend is not what we want, so we're going to go into font, we're going to change the color, keep everything else the same size, change it to white, click OK, apply, so we just come out, so that's a little bit better, actually I don't like the, the font, we could change that to whatever you, I suppose it's, it's, it's up to each individual what they prefer I suppose. So we brought that back again. I'm just going to bring in the original one. This is how that, uh, the original one looks, which is to me it looks a lot better. So we'll make a few more changes to this. Go into the axis, x axis, and we're going to change it to Calibri, bold, and white. And the same with the y axis, Calibri, bold, change it to white. Okay, so we're pretty much there. Basically, the it's not saying order, so we go into the show title and chart, and we say Gapminder example in Click View title settings font. We make that white again. And then the final thing that we should be doing is the colors. So the colors are fairly bland. So I'll just give you a few examples and I'll finish it up then. So we kind of make them more striking, the colors, because we, I think it looks better. So you can see some of the reds here. So that's pretty much this. It was fairly quick, but um, I'm going to play it again. It's a, it's slower than the original version. I put one one seven fifty as the milliseconds in the animations chart. So I just minimize this and bring again bring in the original. You can design it whatever way you want. You can choose the colors whatever way you want. And again, like if I go into the properties of it, the one I I showed earlier, and into the anime, I have a, a thousand milliseconds and it's thirty frames. And then if, again, if you click play, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's a more simplified version. I'm using that for customers and size of orders and the number of orders per annum, uh, and then the, the the throughput or the cases sold to each customer. And again, as you play it, you will see customers coming through on the bottom here, and you'll see the number of deliveries reducing, but then you'll see a huge increase, and that could be new customers, but do check out Hans Rosling's, uh, the guy is amazing, really, and go to www.gapminder.org. I hope that this click view video helped you, and I'll have another video soon, so all the best, cheers.